In this how-to, I'm going to show you how to configure AutoZoom Pro to connect through to FDO Data Connections. So first what we have to do is go and create a data connection. So in this particular case, I want to go Data, Connect to Data, and we could be linking out to ArcSG, Oracle, SQL Server, but I'm just going to connect through at the moment through to some uh, spatial data file formats. And I want to bring in some borehole data, and click open. Click connect and all I'm going to do here, instead of bringing in all the data I'm just going to query using a rectangle so I only bring in a small amount of data to start with. So there we have some boreholes on screen. Just to finish this off I'm now going to go through into our boreholes and just restyle them the way I want them to look. So let's just say I want it to be a, a circle and I want them coloured blue. There we go. So now we have our style created. So I actually have some other layers here we've we've already got data on, etc. What I need to do is now go into the AutoZoom Pro search command and tell it I want to add a new search. So we'll call this one boreholes and if we click on map set name this is the list of all of the layers we actually have configured in this current drawing. More, if I had more layers configured they'll be showing. So I'm just going to pick let's say our whole layer and hit OK and that's it done. If I want to add let's say one of my master map data that you see in the background there let's so call it master map lines again just pick the layer and hit OK and that's really the job's done. If I just zoomed out, zoom to another area now use AutoZoom Pro you can see there's our two items we configured notice that the star I've picked for lines has a maximum scale of 5000 so if I just zoom in somewhere on my map to make it quite small so we're below 5000 scale in comes the line data and in comes my borehole to that. So that's how you configure AutoZoom Pro to use a FDO data connection.